Last time on Trails in the Sky, first chapter, we did a bunch of running around town looking for a missing candle broom as well as signing up a bunch of other side quests. This time we're going to continue the candle broom quest line with this little item here, which I completely missed when I was running around earlier. I get it. The one-eyed lion. I wonder if there's a way to keep it from seeing you. This must be the land harbor. No doubt about it. Alright, let's see what we can find. Okay, I found the card. We should confirm its contents. Right! Ah, Seeker, the eyes of Ardeos see only the truth and pass it on. Beyond the drawbridge, look for the barrels near the steel crane. Do so, and the blue light will be revealed. Band of beef beef. Hmm, another weirdo clue. Now it's a steel crane? It sounds suspiciously easy to figure out this time. The drawbridge I mentioned is probably the one over in the harbour. Ugh, how much longer are we going to have to do this? <laughs> I'm sure we must be nearing the end. We just have to keep going. Okay, so what do you need to pick up your spirits? Um, I'm just tired, so I'm fine, really. See, I'm ready to get back in the game. I swear. Don't be mean to Estelle. She's young. She's new to having to fend for herself. She's not. Okay, so we're looking for some barrels near a steel crane. Oh, look. Hmm, that's weird. This must be the sealed crane, but there are no barrels to be found. Well, what the heck is this stupid clue supposed to mean then? Hey, mister! Hmm? What is it? You see any barrels around here? Barrels? Can't say that I can recall. The warehouse is packed full of them, though. Ah, oh well. Hmm, the warehouse? What's wrong? Um, I was just thinking. Didn't we find the warehouse key earlier? Yes, and Mr. Hogg's request. And we haven't talked to him either, right? The barrels near the crane were moved to the warehouse. I get you. You're thinking the barrels that were here are all inside me. You're probably right. Nice going, Estelle. <laughs> it does happen from time to time. Okay, let's go see what Mr. Hark has to say. Oops, that's not Mr. Hark. This one is. Good afternoon, Hark. We have a question for you. Me? What do you want? I was wondering what kind of work you were doing when you lost the key. You said you were moving the barrels near the crane to the warehouse, is that correct? Yep, sounds right. It was actually just one barrel though, that was in the way of the crane, so you had to be put in storage. I lost the key sometime after that. I to be a bother, but is there any way we could get into the warehouse? If you'd like to examine that barrel. Hmm, well, management doesn't prove it outside entering our warehouses. It's prohibited. The stuff the store there was supposed to be secure, you know. My job's a stake, so I really can't let you inside. Man, that's a problem then. Still, I owe you one. I'll see what I can do. You just want to check out that one barrel, right? Yes, that's correct. Well, I can take it out for a spell then. That way you can look it over all you want without having, ever having to go inside. Hooray for loopholes. Ah, okay. Thanks, that'd be a huge help. This is no big deal. Follow me then. So yeah, this quest is not doable unless you do the uh, missing key quest first. Okay, it's open. Hang on a second here. Oh, Mr. Portos. What you doing around here? 
Oh, well, I just had a hunch about something. So I used the duplicate key to get in the warehouse and check on it. Ah, a duplicate? Didn't even know there was one. Anyway, who are these folks? Oh, they're braces. They want to look over that barrel I moved in here earlier. It's part of their investigation. Ah, I see. But I'm afraid the only authorized personnel are allowed inside the warehouse. Yeah, but I'm the one who moved in there in the first place. Should be okay if I bring it outside for a short while so they can look it over, no. Yes, that should be fine. Please assist them in their investigation. Surprised to see braces coming all this way for an investigation, though. Such young ones, too. You guys do some admirable work. <laughs> well, we do alright. If you need any information, feel free to ask Carl. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you, sir. Alrighty, I'll bring the barrel. Phew, sorry for the long wait. Here's the barrel you wanted. Wow, this thing is huge. That's what she said. And you actually carried it all by yourself? Ha <laughs> ha, never underestimate a dock hand. I found the card, Estelle. Whoa, really? I must apologize most profoundly for the bow to have been moved was an error most inopportune. But the warehouse key was recovered and you have made it here. I will reveal the truth unto you. It was Mr. Portos, was Your reward will be what you have sought. Look within the barrel. The candle of rum you will find. You find will no doubt be returned to the right Ah, time grows short. We will meet again. I've got a bad feeling about this. This weirdo must be close by watching us. Indeed. Hey, look at the card. Some of the ink is still wet. What? Hey, what do you think you're doing here? Huh? Oh, uh, Mr. Portos. You said earlier this would be okay. What are you talking about? Damn, we've been had. Whoa, no way! You were just here a little while ago and... It must have been someone posing as him. The criminal may have worn disguise and used the opportunity to plant a car. Oh, no. Well, then we need to get after him! Oh, Estelle! Off she goes. Joshua, shouldn't we do something? I'm afraid it's probably too late. We messed up and we didn't notice the imposter before. I doubt us still we'll find any trace of it. Ah, uh, I see. Let's just make sure the candelabrum isn't damaged. Retrieving it was our main priority, not catching the perk. You're right. It was written that I'd be in this barrel. I pray that's true. Oh, man. Hope she isn't too disappointed that we're opening this without her. Oh, she ran off on her own. That's her problem. Shiny. Fancy. And that's the story. We got the candelabrum back, undamaged. We haven't found any clues as to whereabouts of the thief. All we know is that he calls himself Phantom Thief B. Ah. Uh, if only we'd found out about the fake sooner. He disappeared while we were running around in circles. No, no, you've all done a fine job. The main thing is that the sapphire glim has been recovered. The mayor is right. You've done exactly what was asked of you. Thank you for your kind words. But the fact is, we still allow the thief to escape. Yeah. We can't just let him get away with this. We'd like your permission to continue the investigation. If possible, we want to search the estate for any further clues. No. That's really not necessary. Our request did not require you to catch the culprit after all. You brought back the candelabrum. But... Joshua, I understand your passion for upholding justice. But there are other, more important crimes which must be answered. I do not wish to further monopolize your time over something so trivial. 
I've no doubt that there are others out there who are waiting for a brace's help. It would please me if you help those in greater need first. Mayor. Understood. Then we will close our investigation. <laughs> oh, fine. And of course, I'll compensate you fully for your time and effort. Now, if you excuse my rudeness, I must leave. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. We'll also be on our way then. Another job su successfully ish completed? Uh, well, that's taken care of, but I wouldn't exactly call it settled. Though it would seem, yes. Hey, come on, Joshua. I know you got something on your mind. Huh? Oh, yeah, a little. I was just wondering why the thief would take the candle of Rome if he meant for it, if he meant for it to be found. Good question. But it looks like we may never know. The newest car is what really got gets me. As if this were designed as a test specifically for you two. Yeah, that's been bugging me too. We need to keep up our investigation. Besides, we still don't know where the crook sneaked in from. Why don't we do some sneaking around of our own and check out the estate? Won't that make us just as bad as the crook we're chasing? Well, then what are we supposed to do? What choice do we have? We're supposed to abide by the client's wishes. For now, we have to be patient. Mm. Alright, let's go. Like the mayor said, there's a lot that still has to be done. Oh, alright. I guess it's back to the drawing board. That seems to be all that we can do for the moment. Nice. Quest complete. And while we are here in this area, we're going to take advantage of having Chloe in our party. And how stupidly OP she is. And we're going to go deal with the uh, Safal Tower that almost murdered us multiple times. I say almost, it did murder us multiple times previously. But with Chloe on our side, we should be able to deal with it pretty handily. I just need to actually figure out which ones I've already done and which ones I need to still do. Okay, so that one's already done. So there are a lot of ways to go here. And they all have these chests. Okay, welcome back monsters, I'm here to murder you. So water is what it doesn't like using. Or oh, water is what it's which strong against. But Chloe here with her 502 EP. As uh hell date here, which should It doesn't one-shot them, but it does enough damage that it may as well. So then we'll focus on killing these other two. And you... ...can heal us all up. Go. And just like that, much better. Right. See how much easier this is when you uh, cheat. It's not actually cheating, but you know. We have the perfect uh, character here to help us out.
And that one, which takes them out, and that would stun the better. And then finally, you know what? You just move. There we go. Getting us a decent amount of Sebef, a decent amount of XP, and some good gear. Found the Flamberge! Hey, where's my lead? What, were you born in a barn? Which reminds me, I forgot to check this out. You came back! I knew you would. Okay, so that one goes on to the roof. That's not the path we need to take. As I said, there's so many different little paths through here that it's going to be a bit of a maze. I'm going to get a bit lost, I'm sure. Alright, that's where the broken bridge was. Ooh, didn't mean to come up against you, mate. Yeah, we're gonna run because I don't need the extra fights right now. Okay, well, you're in the way, so you will die. I need to remember no physical on those big guys. And of course there's something more. Oh boy, this is suddenly not going great. That one's almost dead, so let's do this one. That one, cool. Yeah, she's still got plenty. And perfect. We're all healed. So let. Oh, she has a recovery one. Let's do this. Yeah. heal that much but did that just give me CP? Okay that's cool. Go to seahorse. And then we'll work on the last of these things because they are a real pain in the arm. Hello, bye. Alright, well. I really wish there was like a old defense or something. But there's not, so we'll just move out of the way. Yeah, so many abilities I want to give the rest of my team. 
Okay. Thank you for carrying us. So that's basically what's happening here is we are being completely carried. Hot fried chicken. You seem to be laboring under the hope that something else will magically appear in this empty chest. Let me quash that for you right now. And the pea charge. The clowns told me you'd be back. Oh god. Yeah, they're no longer giving much XP. Hey, a tea bomb, I'll take it. Insert treasure here. No. Ooh, I am getting very, very turned around about which ways I have and haven't gone yet. Recharge. That. When do you plan on giving me my stuff? So, when do you plan on giving me my stuff back? Never. Really? Another one? Okay. We're running. It's empty! Treachery! Range 1. You have found the ultimate treasure. Octogen. Ah, uh, just more of you guys. Run. You guys are not worth the time anymore. Also, that's a dead end. So I can't go that way. This was that one. I think we're almost done. That was strong enough to kill all of them. Well, that takes care of that. Hey, she got her level up. Nice. Sent. Not you again. Okay, I think that may be just about it. I think we've cleared out the tower. See how much easier that was when I had uh, Holly with me. Okay. Well, next time on Trails in the Sky, first chapter, we're going to be back in Ruan to turn in the Candelabrum quest. We're going to check out all the new gear we've got. And probably unlock some more plots in our augments. And then we're heading back towards Bose as we complete the other side quests. See you then.